This is actually pretty neat. It comes like practically a margarita in a bag, except for <laughs> it's for hummingbirds. So I asked Lester to do this thing for me and he was like, yeah, no problem. I'll get it done real quick. And, um, I asked him to hang this bracket so I could hang hummingbird feeders on it. <clears throat> Hold on. So you see here, I'm just not, hold on, there's more. Yeah, he was really grateful to just do it right away and, um, and to get it done. And he just went ahead and put him right up there. And um, for the record, there's holes right there. I'm back. Oh wait, I didn't know you were watching me. I'm just gonna redo it myself. Well, you want to do it yourself if you want to. I'm so sorry. I'm I didn't know how to tell you, so I just thought I would ask everyone else to tell you. So they hang outward. Yeah, a little bit. So like this. It could be like that. Actually, it could be also like this. No, there's the hook. You gotta be able to head it upside down. So things will hook him, not fall out. Okay. Right? Okay. I'll just put the same holes as already measured. Like that. Okay. So it'll hang out and off like this. Yes? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Um, I gotta change the batteries in the clock because it is not 3.30, I promise you that. Um, so I was also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the hay that you got put out for the cows. You know that spot? Yeah, I've been reading about it all morning. Oh, maybe, maybe, never mind. Never mind. I'll just let it go. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Thanks, babe. Good morning, friends. I got something in the mail today. It's my very first watering can. And a lot of people have been telling me, Jamie, you need to, I'm a wreck. Pull yourself together, Jamie, okay. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying, Jamie, you need to fertilize with different fertilizers and alternate. So I went and I bought some different things. Some vitamins with kelp, something that's made for flower and vegetable and a different kind of miracle Grow. I had just been using this shake on miracle Grow. It was time to do something else and excuse my mess. This is a bar that doubles as a planting station currently because until I get the greenhouse done, this is, this is my workspace. Don't worry. I clean it up. Anyway, Lester's like, why would you, why would you want this watering can? It doesn't, he didn't know that you had to look inside and get this to screw onto it. So, I've never owned a watering can before. So this is kind of a neat, a neat little thing and I love that it's tin and looks kind of vintage. I love vintage, if you know me, you know. I'm gonna take off the tag even though it's against me to do so. Um, and I think I'm gonna start with just this today. Then I'm going, this says you can use it in addition to this because it's a, it's a natural vitamin. So I'm gonna do this today, give it 24 hours and then uh, then add this tomorrow and then I'm gonna let it sit for seven days with no fertilizer then next week I will try this Plus this and see how it goes. I've done a lot of research y'all. I've done a lot of research kind of neat comes with a scoop with two different ways to measure instructions on the bag It's almost man proof almost Here we go. Giving her a whirl. This 
So next Saturday chore is, now that Lester's got these all hung up the right way, is to fill them up. And so many people gave me such a hard time because the stuff in this one was red at one point in time. It came in a can. It came in a can from Lowe's and it was all natural. So it had fruit juices in it. And trust me, it's got to be healthier than putting sugar and water in a space. If they eat flowers and natural things, why wouldn't they eat that natural juice? Either way, we got three that we're going to fill up. And yes, I bought, I bought ready to use. This is what it's called. Ready to use. Infused with wildflower hydrosis. hydrosis. No preservatives or dyes. And it is made with pure cane sugar. So nobody gives me a hard time. That was a rough one, y'all. Super rough. This is actually pretty neat. It comes like practically a margarita in a bag, except for <laughs> it's four hummingbirds. So that's awesome. All right, let's get this undone. I've never filled these up yet. So, okay, that's pretty neat. I was concerned about how skinny that the, the opening would be, but it looks pretty good. Let's get it started. I do, I feel like I'm filling up my wine from a box right now. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that before. That's, I don't know. I saw it on a video once. That's, that's all. Saw it on a video once. I think that's pretty good. When I was younger, part of our summer chores were to refill the hummingbird feeders for my mother. And we would have to make the, uh, make this stuff. So we would boil water, put sugar in it. Hold on a second, I gotta use both hands. There we go. We would boil water with sugar. It was like four cups water to one cup sugar. And I think that we were making about three gallons a day where we lived at the time. My mom loves hummingbirds. Uh, most of my childhood gifts to my mother had something involving a hummingbird. So when she came, she was like, we're putting up hummingbird feeders. We're, we're picking these up and we did so. This is for my mama. So this one might actually be my favorite. Uh, I like that it looks kind of mason jarish, a little bit more rugged, but I love the fact that they're all different. I know it's given Lester a heart attack because they're not all sim the same and symmetrically hung. And you know, I like a little variety and Lester would like them all to look exactly the same, to be spaced the same and filled the same. And well, we aren't doing that. Oh, I think we're gonna run the well dry on this one. Come on, bag. Don't fail me now. That's it. We got an empty bag and two full feeders. It's exciting. What do you think, Stella? What's on your face? You got cobwebs on your face. What do you think, Mel? You like it? Well, we got it all screwed on. Now it's about hanging it up, okay? Thank you for helping. I love you. Okay. Three hummingbird feeders in place. Two with brand new clear fluid, one with the fruit juice. I'll show you the can so you don't freak out about that either. I had a couple of them and we're on can number three, so it must be okay. They're drinking it, but we got a little bit of garden work to do. I got to spray and uh, do some fertilizing. We have a big day. It's much more than garden work, but for this video, that's what we got going.